Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Yes, Tidewater Winds is 30 years old this summer, and these guys aren't. <laughs> Maestro John Brewington, how you doing? Hi, Bob. Good to see you again. You're not 30, but you were there 30 That's years ago. That's correct, I was. And you were doing what 30 years ago uh, in I was July? in the percussion section back then, so it was a, a great time. So you spent that night searching for a percussion instrument? Uh, uh, well, not just for one, but for many, <laughs> and for music in, in some cases, in some occasions, because that wind was blowing. Let me <laughs> I you. bet. And Dr. Steve Ambrose, president of Tidewater Winds, you were there 30 years yes, ago. Yes, I was. And you were, were you chasing music or were you chasing an instrument? Uh, I had my instrument in my hand and my music on my stand. Is it, we in the clarinet section had it a little better than the percussion section had it. <laughs> there you go. So a little paper clip <laughs> would hold your music down? Um, yeah, the big paper clips, actually. Okay. So here we are 30 years later. Mm. Did you think we'd get here? It's hard to believe. Had it no really clue. is. How we, when, when we first started playing in the band 30 years ago, we had no idea that it would have this, long, this, this kind of longevity. Uh, we're so thankful and so grateful to the community that has continued to support mm -hmm. us over so many years. But it was really the brainchild uh, uh, of Sid Berg mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that brought this, uh, this organization uh, to Norfolk and all the Hampton Roads. Describe the magic. What is the magic behind, behind Tidewater Winds? Hmm. Right now it's John Brewing. Uh -huh. I was going to say, Sid 30 years ago was doing this. And who is the maestro doing? That would be me. Do now. you think of that? I, when you raise those debatons? I do. I, th I, I, I honestly, when you, I, I pinch myself sometimes thinking of how fortunate I really am uh, and how blessed I have been to be able to be the conductor and music director of the Tidewater Winds and to, to say Sid Berg and John Brewington in the same sentence mm -hmm. is, uh, uh, is, a, is <laughs> quite, a, um, quite flattery. It really is. It's quite a wonderful thing. I, I'm humbled by that piece. Uh, so it, it, the, 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 the magic comes really from the music that we play, mm -hmm. the musicians that play it, and then trying to make a, a, a connection with our audience. We really try to connect with our audience through our programs, our programming, uh, and our outreach uh, in, into the community. Right. Programming is one of the things he does so very well. Uh, we've had three very fine maestros in our time in 30 years. There was Sid, there was Al Assertion mm -hmm. for many years who was a wonderful conductor, a fantastic musician, and now we have Maestro Brewington, a musician of incomparable quality, but what he does with programming and what he does with just relating to our audiences, mm -hmm. I, in my view, that's where the magic is for us. There's a, I, you know, you're a teacher, obviously. We both are. I we know. We both have educational backgrounds. And, and because when you introduce, it's not just a matter of uh, the music, but you really kind of tell the story of. Right. I, I really try to do that because if people, uh, people that come to our, our concerts, they may recognize the melody, but they may not know the story behind mm -hmm. it. They may not know that there's background behind most everything that we play. And I try to bring that out so that people can make a little bit deeper connection into what we play. So what do you have up your sleeve for this season? I've got four weeks of great concerts. We're going to open up with a, a program called Tempest Fugit, uh, which means time flies in, in Latin. Mm -hmm. And it, being that it is our 30th uh, year, we're going to play music from each of the three decades that, we're, that we've been around. So I'm featuring music from all three decades, from all three conductors. Uh, uh, and one of the highlights of, uh, of the concert, two things really. Uh, James Jose, local composer, he does your, he has your music here on Norfolk Perspectives. I, 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 I heard it from you guys, I said, gotta have it. That's right. <laughs> so, James is coming to guest conduct a piece called Black Granite, and it was the last piece that Sid Berg ever conducted. And we're going to pay tribute to him and have him, have James conduct that. And I'm doing a, a, a piece that uh, is, is a kind of exciting. It's a recording from the very first series of concerts that we did 30 years ago. And we're going to play half the recording for the audience live, and then I'm going to walk out and conduct the other half of oh, it. Oh, wow. So we're going we're gonna to see a, a kind of a back to the future um, situation there. Our second week is Make Them Laugh. It's a, a funny, it's a serious look at the funny side of music and some things that, uh, that we want to do, including um, 
uh, Pirates of Penzance, uh, and we're going to do a, 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 just a, a great routine with uh, the Beethoven Fifth as a sports cast. So we've got two commentators that are going to be there and calling the play-by-play -play for the Beethoven Ooh. Five. It, it's just fantastic. A salute to the armed forces in, in our third week, which is our military tribute. And our last week is uh, Shall We Dance, uh, music that moves us. And I'm going to do music from Copeland and Bernstein and uh, Van Morrison's Moon Dance in the second half, String of Pearls. It's, uh, it's going to be a great season. So every season is a new season. It yes. is. And you really kind of propose now to, I mean, we're reminiscing, but this is a year to reminisce, but also to really... Prepare for the future uh, generations. Yes, it and is. Introduce some music to it. Absolutely. And I know I love, and I've had the pleasure of being with you guys on some nights, and I love watching the student interns just kind of come alive. Yes. And, and I'm glad you're still chasing music, but tie it down on the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'll, start, I'll do the best I can. You I'm know. looking forward to seeing you on July 5th. Great. Thank you, uh, Bob. At Town Point Park, and then a wonderful and season. You too. Event. So thanks for everything that you guys do. Thank you, Thank Bob. You. We want to hear from you what you'd like to see on TV48, but more importantly, what's going on in your neighborhood. Give us a holler at 664-6510. And as usual, it's a wonderful time to be in Norfolk just because of you, you, and you. Thanks a lot.